today we're going to look at how to set up your quiz settings in Canvas. So to create a quiz in Canvas, we're going to click on the Quizzes tab. You'll note that there's that eyeball with the line through it next to the Quizzes tab, which means that it is not visible to students. So students will have to go through the modules to get to the quizzes, which is best practice. To create a quiz, I'm going to click on the plus quiz button. And the first thing that will come up is the details page. This is where I'm going to give my title for my quiz, my instructions, and my settings. And the instructions for the quiz or test, whatever it is, it's a good idea to maybe let the students know what types of questions they're going to be encountering, how many points the quiz is worth, and if there is a time limit, how much time they have, and how many attempts they have. This information will be available to the students in the quiz summary before they actually start the quiz, but it's not a bad idea to make sure that they see it in multiple places. You also, of course, have your rich content editor, so if you needed to attach any files, link to external websites, put a video, anything like that, you can do all that as well. So now let's look at our settings. Next to quiz type, you'll see that you could do a practice quiz, a graded quiz, and a graded or ungraded survey. We'll go over surveys in another video. If you want to do a practice quiz, keep in mind it's not going to show up in the grade book. So even if it's something that you wanted to count for points, you won't be able to do that if you put practice quiz. Graded quiz is what we're going to focus on today. If you have assignment groups set up, you'll need to designate what assignment group this will go into. And then let's look at our options. You could shuffle your answers. Now, this is going to shuffle your answer choices, not shuffle your questions. So I do want to caution you that if you use true and false questions, or if you have options like all of the above or none of the above, don't use shuffle answers. This will shuffle those true and false up. This will put the none of the above at the top or wherever and randomize it. So just keep that in mind. If you want to give it a time limit, you can. And if you want to allow multiple attempts, you can do that as well. You'll need to tell Canvas what quiz score you want it to keep, either the highest, the latest, or the average. And then you'll need to check the box and say how many attempts you want to allow. This down here is important, so you will need to decide if you want the students to be able to see their quiz responses, and that will allow the students to see which questions they got wrong. You can choose to have them only see that after their last attempt, and this is if you've got multiple attempts, or if you want them to be able to see the incorrect answers only once after each attempt. Down here, you can choose to let the students see the correct answer. So basically, they will see the answer key. But it's nice because you can give them a date range when they will be allowed to see those correct answers. So you can set it up so that that won't be available to any of the students until after everyone in the class has finished taking the test. You can choose to show only one question at a time, and you can choose to lock the questions after answering. If you choose to do this, I would definitely let the students know that in the instructions, because this is not something they generally expect to be the case. Down here, you can assign the quiz to everyone. If you have more than one section that you're teaching and you have those sections combined into one course shell, you'll have all of your sections for that course listed here, and you can give different due dates to each section if you want to, or you can just assign it to everyone. The quiz will be available until this until date, but it will be considered late after the due date. If you had a student who needed a separate due date, you could click this add button and then select one or more students' names from the class list and then give them their own due dates. When you're finished, click Save and Publish. After clicking Save, it's going to take me back to my Quizzes tab. 
Setting up questions and question groups is covered in another video. We had not added any questions in the example that I just gave. So in order to edit a quiz or add questions to it, you'll go back to the quizzes tab, click on the name of the quiz, and then click edit. All of the work that we did so far was in this details tab. You'll need to click on the questions tab in order to add questions. Once you've added a question, designated how many points for each question, click to update question. You can keep adding questions until you're finished. Again, this is covered in more detail in the video about question groups and question banks. So let's say that I have a student who has an IEP or maybe a student who got locked out of the quiz for some reason. There was a problem while they were taking the quiz and they need me to unlock it for them. To do any of those things, you will need to, again, click on the quizzes tab, click on the name of the quiz, and then come over here to related items and click on moderate this quiz. Here you'll see a list of all of your students. You'll see how many attempts they have used up, if any, how much time they took on each attempt, as you can see, none of these students have actually taken this quiz yet, so they all have all three of their attempts left. And you'll see their score here as well. Let's say that Rebecca has an IEP and she is going to need time and a half for her test. I can set that up by clicking on the pencil next to her name and I can give her extra time. So if she needs an extra 45 minutes, I can add that to her 90 minutes and give her 135 minutes on the exam. If a student needs an additional t attempt for whatever reason, there's two ways to give that student an additional attempt. If the due date is not up yet and they still have time, I can just come in here and I can just go ahead and give them an additional attempt. Or if the due date and the until date for the test has already come and gone, I'm gonna to need to unlock the quiz for that student's next attempt. And I can do that easily by just clicking on this manually unlock button and clicking save. And what that will do is I don't have to also go in and give that student their own date. It's gonna automatically unlock that quiz for the student for the next attempt. And I can easily see any of my accommodations that I've made for this student right here in the list. Quizzes will be graded automatically as long as they have correct and incorrect answer choices marked. But if I want to look and see what a student has done or if I want to grade an essay type question or short answer that's not going to be automatically graded, I will need to click on the name of the quiz again, come over to related items, and click on speed grader. From here it's going to show me the score that the student got on the auto graded portion. I can easily click here to get to the questions that have essay type answers that aren't going to be auto graded and then I can give the number of points that I want to assign to that student and if I want to see specific details about the student's test attempt I can click the view log button and get a click by click analysis of what the student was doing while they took the test how long it took them for each question 